Tight Slots Halfback Week has been one of the best offenses in Madden over the last couple of years. And in this video, we're going to be breaking down how I like to run the offense. Now, real quick, one of the things I did want to mention about this is a lot of these combos can already be found in our school community. And we are going to be dropping a full Miami Dolphins offensive ebook for our school members. The link's gonna be in the description to sign up for the school site. It's only $10 to become a member and it gets you access to all of my offensive and def defensive eBooks for both Madden and for college football, as well as all of the updates to those eBooks and any new stuff that we release while uh, your membership is active. All right, so we're gonna be taking a look here at this. I am gonna sub in, um, so let's remember what this guy's name is. I wish it just Gibson. We'll go with Gibson. That's fine. Um, the cool part about this formation, you don't really need to set any audibles. Um, the only thing I would do is put the read option in here. And then if you wanted to audible around a little bit, you might want to put post wheel drag here. But that's the play that I like to come out in every single play. So the setups for this play and the alignment for alignment purposes, generally I like to run this formation with my running back uh, to the short side of the field. However, in this year's game, it really is not as big of a deal. Um, there's a lot of versatility in terms of how you can play offense this year. So if you want to just literally always run with your running back to the left, that's fine as well because running backs uh, to the left are the best form of pass protection in this year's game. All right, so I'm going to show you kind of my first setup, and we're going to start getting into uh, some of the plays here. So my first setup is we're just going to take this receiver on the right side. We're going to put him on a streak. We're going to put the tight end on a corner. We're going to drag the slot receiver, and we're going to block our running back like this. And you're going to see that we just have a simple high-low read. Really, the main route that you're going to hit as I get screamed at first play on a send three, practice mode is just never changing. But um, you're going to see here that this post gets into a really cool uh, pocket, and we can throw this post against pretty much everything. They're gonna have to use for this. See how the yellows will kind of get sucked down and this post kind of gets into a really nice spot in the middle of the field. One of the things that I think tight does, specifically this tight slots halfback week, is it can attack the entirety of the field. It can attack the right sideline, it can attack the left sideline, it can attack the middle, it can attack uh, the flats really well. So there's just a lot here. If they don't play hard flats, you can just dump it down to your drag route. And then if they do play hard flats, what's really cool about this specific play is your tight end corner is short. And so it's gonna get a nice separation against cover four. And you can basically just throw this with a pass lead uh, down and outside, and you can hit that against that coverage. Now my next setup is gonna be a variation of this. And the reason we're gonna run this version of the play is so that we can use this corner, uh, this stemmed corner all the way down. I like this stem corner. I feel like it pulls zones really well. And if your opponent is playing hard flats, whether they're playing cover four, cover three, whatever, this stem corner normally is going to do a really good job of just kind of getting into a soft spot against every single zone coverage. See, even though it's cover four, I can still throw this at that cover four coverage. It's going to start to force them to have to, you know, base align and things of that nature. Now, the real reason why I love this play or another reason why I love this play and really why I think tight slots is so good every single year is because you can't really play man coverage against this as we <laughs> good, good old Kansas City. Um, you can't really play man coverage against this offense, right? Because it is a compressed set and compressed sets historically are going to beat man coverage really, really well. And I am going to go over kind of a little hidden tip against man coverage in this that I don't talk about a ton. And because it's, I didn't come up with this, I think that AntCap said he was first one that come up with this um, over at HuddleGG. Again, if you guys didn't know, like I recommend literally watching as much Madden as you can. Watch as many creators as you can, learn from as many people as you can, um, because Madden is a knowledge-based game. And the more you know, typically the better you're gonna be. So uh, what this tip is, is basically just curl route and then you stem him all the way up. And sometimes it doesn't work if he's on the line of scrimmage, but sometimes it does. And you'll see against press man, you see how he becomes unbumpable. And that really helps us because he'll clear out a lot better for, he'll clear out a lot better for those routes. And then let's say like you're playing like a cover zero uh, coverage, then what you can have here is basically this, this uh, stemmed curl. A lot of times we'll just beat that press man for a touchdown over the top against pretty much anybody. So this stem curl route is another thing that you can kind of have within your arsenal. This is also not unique to tight, but I like to use this for clear outs 
because you have a streak as a clear out, but now this curl is unbubbable against man. And so it really kind of just uh, adds another layer to the play. Okay. So that's the first setup that I like at a post wheel drag. Uh, the second setup that we're going to be going over is um, essentially how we can attack the left side of the field. So this is going to be out of the play mesh spot. And all we're going to do to do here is we're going to, we're going to do that st stemmed curl again to that outside receiver. We're going to corner route the slot receiver and we're going to stem him all the way down. And then we're going to table route or flat route our running back. And it's going to look like this. The reason I like this play, and if you want to stem this post down one, uh, you can. I don't think you really have to. But basically, the beauty of this is you just have this high-low read on this left side. So, again, we're attacking the right side. We're attacking the left side of the field. So we're forcing, and this is what you want to do in any good offense, you want to force your opponent to have to defend the entirety of the field and force your opponent to attend the entirety of the field. So we have a high low on the left side. So they're going to have to have a flat, a deep flat and a shallow flat. So the best way they could do that would typically be out of a cover two coverage over here on this left hand side. Now, the beauty of this is the backside post is really good against pretty much anything they can do to try to slow this play down. So you see here, you got this backside post. He just kind of cuts inside of the deep blues and you can basically just click on and catch it. Now against man coverage, this is pretty decent. Again, I love to use that stemmed curl. If I'm, if I'm worried they might be pray, playing press man. If you ever need to block your running back out of this, you can just block your running back, it's fine. You still have the high-low read, but the corner route is really good uh, out of this formation and being able to attack man-to-man. -man. So you have that corner route, which they're going to have to respect that. And then once they start to respect that corner route, that's where your backside post is going to normally be a nice route. It's going to get an inside position. You can just ag it if you ever get in trouble. But that route is also really nice against man coverage. So you have a left side attacking play, a right side attacking play. And then I want to show you this other combo that I really like. This is for... Uh, when your opponent starts to run a lot of what a lot of people will do against tight is they'll basically run like hard flat cover fours and things of this nature right here. Once they start to do this, this is where I love to basically spam this setup right here. And you're going to hit this corner route pretty much every single time. This corner route is just going to be open and you're going to hit it. And so as you kind of play through this, what they're ultimately going to have to do is they're going to have to basically play cover two on the left and cover four on the right. Now they may, you know, back this guy off to kind of get him to play corners better, but this is basically what we have. So we want to have a play or a concept that is that that is able to attack the right side of the field. And so that play that I like to use is post wheel drag. We kind of go back over this real quick, but it's this corner um, street combo. And now you see that this outside quarter is not going to guard it. So you could throw that as well. So now they're going to have to double flat both sides of the field. And so when you ever get someone to have to do this, this is where the game starts to really become easy. Because the whole deep area, deep section uh, uh, is wide open. So this is where what I like to do is go to a play like post wheel drag and we can just streak the running back. We're gonna corner route this outside guy, stem him all the way down like this, and then really can do really whatever with the tight end. But what you're gonna see is this post will split the cover two this year really well when you have that stemmed corner. And you can have a nice big hitter against that, which they have to kind of carry with their user. So their user is gonna be responsible for defending this, this um, deep middle of the field. And so it really leaves them with only one underneath yellow zone. And this is where we can really get into some cool stuff out of this post wheel drag setup because we have this running back streak. And again, I said you can kind of do whatever with your tight end. So if you want to put your tight end on a, you know, a little simple out route, perfectly fine. But if you wait on this, this running back streak, we'll just get into kind of a cool part of the field. Another thing that I wanted to cover against cover two that you might not know is gonna be this wheel route 
late against a cover two. So you'll see here, Dwight on this wheel, he'll just basically kind of clear. If he doesn't get matched, he'll clear over the top of that cover two. I'll we'll show you. This time we'll leave this drag. And again, I'm just a little basic cover two. You see, watch this. For some reason, he's still matching him. We'll just ag it, but but in general, if if it doesn't match, I don't know if I have soft squats out there or what. Um, if it doesn't match like that, which is surprising that it did. This uh, this wheel, the deep half will never play it because he has to respect the streak. So that's another one of my favorite plays out of tight slots. Now I'm going to go over, over one of my favorite man-beating concepts out of this formation if you have running back apprentice. So this is out of mesh spot, and then we're calling this play for the drags and the post. So what we're going to do here is we're going to stem this curl all the way up. We're going to Texas route the running back, and we're going to block our tight end. And the reason this setup is really good is because it's just going to be able to really attack the man coverage because you have really several routes that can be open, one of them being the stemmed curl, of course, but really the main reads that you have against man coverage is you're going to have this slot drag. And you can actually just literally recreate this play too. But you're going to have this slot drag. You're going to have this Texas route late. I wish I could have a second to pass this uh these practice mode shuts are absolutely wild and for the guys in the comments real quick i don't do this a lot but this totally got to me the other day somebody said in the comments that the sheds and practice mode are realistic okay so we'll just show you that we can <laughs> dot this up so you'll see here the drag's wide open <laughs> okay i'm just trying to show a certain route which is why i prefer to like spy people so you can actually see the entirety of the play process all the way through so anyways a uh, little small tangent but what i like about this play is the fact that this texas route will really get into a nice part of the field so you'll see here even though there's a three wreck the three wreck will eventually let him go and the texas route is like a it's basically like a running back slant route in terms of how it's going to actually kind of attack the defense so that's why that's one of my favorite routes and then the other thing i want to show you is this actual mesh spot uh, this actual mesh mesh spot post Let you see here and he'll just normally run himself open in the main coverage and he'll be able to attack attack it like that so those are some of my favorite plays in tight slots. Um, the other one that we didn't cover yet is this for verticals. I want to show you something about this against man. So in man coverage this year, um, it's kind of like man 23. The man coverage defenders will take a step back at the snap of the ball. So what you can do is you can just quick throw these flats against man coverage if it's not shaded down. Now, if it is shaded down, so let's say like a cover two man, for example, then what's going to happen is when these wheel routes cut up field, they're just going to destroy man coverage. So wheel routes in this game, specifically from like the wide receiver spot, specifically these flat root flat wheels out of four verticals are really good for attacking man. And you just want to quick throw them out there. And basically it's going to force them to eventually shade underneath. And then when they shade underneath, you're just going to wait on this thing to cut up field and be able to take it. But I love quick throwing these, these uh, flats flats in general in this game are really overpowered. You know, so a combo that you could actually run with four verticals that I would recommend would be to uh, streak your run, running back. We're going to uh, put this right side receiver on a post, and then we're going to put a hitch on this right. So you see this is what it looks like. And against main coverage, a lot of times I didn't, didn't actually throw my open read there. But a lot of times, and you can do it out of post you would want to do it at four verticals because you get better wheel routes but if you watch this post boom easy reads for man and then the other thing 
is if they're your first read is really always this wheel on the left side. He backs up like that. You can just throw this out here. And if you break that tackle, it's going to be a pretty good gain for you. And then another thing that I like to do on this uh, post wheel drag setup for like cover two and stuff, you could run a combo almost like this. But basically the idea here is if you watch this tight end up the seam, he kind of gets and he'll literally just split the cover two. So if we were to run a setup and I'll show you. So let's say we run like a setup like this. You know, and then the running back can literally be on whatever. What I want to show you is this tight end streak. You'll see he is going to get matched by a mid read. But if you throw this like literally just straight up, I feel like the deep halves don't really play it. And I would probably actually go ahead and do something more like, like this, for example. And we have that high low read on the right. And then you also have this wheel route on the left. So if you ever want to beat cover two, which is a very popular way people like to defend tight, this would be an example of something you can do. Now, another thing you could do if you want to attack cover two is you're going to put the tight end on a corner. You're going to put this, uh, this outside receiver on a flat. You're going to put the running back on a Texas route. And then um, you can have a corner here. But basically the idea is we want to stem this post up to about 15 yards. And what you'll see is he, again, will kind of split that cover two. Now the mid read will get there. But you can hit this. And the other thing I wanted to show you is this cover three beater. So this is at a mesh spot. And basically all we're going to do is this right here. And what's going to happen is this wheel is going to pull the um, it's going to pull the third to him. And then this post will typically run. You got kind of hung up there. If you don't, if you don't need to, you don't have to run this. Let me show you something else here. So if we were in this play mesh spot, for example, we have this post. We'll just corner route this guy, and then we'll just block this running back. You can run it literally like this, and this will just shred cover three. As you see, the corner route pulls the outside third, and this guy comes underneath for a really big play. So you're able to manipulate cover three uh, as well. And then uh, post will drag. You just want this post like kind of super deep. We'll see if we can actually get this to work. So again, that super deep post, super deep post. He's still kind of cutting a little sharp for my liking. I guess we can't beat cover two with, with that post in particular, but there's so many other things in this formation um, that could beat cover two. Again, one of the things is if you ever want to flip it and run your running back to the, to the wide side, now we can do this combo, and I would use the stem curl route, and you'll see why here in a minute. You see stem curl route. See how the stem curl route is going to be a straight streak, and then we can run these corners. And what you'll see here is that slot. A lot of times he'll just basically nuke cover two. Deep half actually got over there a little bit better. Kind of having a hard time beating cover two, I guess. But uh, let's see if we can actually get it here. Yeah, just see how the tight end just kind of gets in this position. I mean, that's a decent window. And then all you're going to do is basically just pass lead it. You do something like this. Um, but basically, you can just pass lead this tight end straight up. And... Rogers is kind of selling the throw. But honestly, you know what? If you want to beat cover two, <laughs> since I'm kind of annoyed that we can't beat it right here, just run a corner out to the right. <laughs> and there you go. There's your cover two beater. <laughs> so if you ever need to beat cover two, you can just do that as well. But obviously, if you want to get the, the touchdown for some reason, it's being kind of, kind of uh, finicky. But then also, the other thing that I was going to say about beating cover two would be to use this post wheel drag play and 
you can just, I don't know why my post is going to run dumb, but basically this wheel as it gets randomly matched. Good old man 25. Um, this wheel normally will get open. Let's see if we can actually just get it open here with a flat and that cloud. There we go. The cloud stays. You know, so if you wanted to do something like that, you could get, you know, if you know they're running cover two, you could do something like post wheel drag, we'll flat the running back, right? And then on this back side, you might run like a little stem corner as a clear out with a streak, something like this. Um, and then if they are running cover two, hit this. And then if they're not, then you can throw your post. But, but yeah, that's post wheel drag. Um, other setup I didn't didn't cover yet is just a slant post. I love this play right here. If I'm ever playing man coverage, this is one of my favorite ways to beat it. So it's basically just post wheel drag, slant the slot receiver, table route the running back, flat the tight end. And the reason for this is just it's just a simple slant post combo. But this slant is so like it just it's just always open. You can just always throw that slant route. And then another play that we didn't cover yet out of mesh spot, we have this wheel route. There's a lot of good things that you can do with the wheel route this year, but basically just a flat, a slant, you know, something like this. Really good combo. Has a little bit of a man swap in it. And you see just how open that slant route is against man coverage. If they're, if they're running man coverage against tight, <laughs> chances are you probably won the game. But these are some of my favorite plays out of tight slots. And you have the capability within this offense to attack the entirety of the field. If you guys want to check out my entire Miami Dolphins offensive ebook, make sure to get into our school community. Um, it's going to be in there. If it's not already in there, it's going to be in there in the next couple of days. So make sure that you are a member of that. And again, the link is going to be in the description below.